Hello and welcome to the third installment of my throwback series here where I show you Bath & Body Works products from the past. So the part one of the series was from 1990 to 2004 and then part two was 2004 to 2010. So now I'm going to be showing you what I have in my collection of Bath & Body Works products starting from 2010 until about 2015. Anything that's past 2015 I kind of don't view it as a throwback because I feel like I just got those recently although I do realize that many years have gone by since then, but I am gonna make the cutoff for this series at 2015. And in the fourth installment of this video, the last one that I'll post after this, I'm actually going to go through a couple of binders and materials that I found from back when I used to work at Bath & Body Works. So you don't miss that video, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and let's get started. 2011 and 2012, I would have been a junior and a senior in high school, so I think I was just too busy working on high school and trying to graduate. I remember vividly uh, in high school having that bottle of mango mandarin from 2005 on my desk. So I think I was just kind of working on some old stuff. So nothing to show for those years, but where we're gonna start is actually 2013. I have two hand soaps here. I'll first show you the spring one. This is Italian lavender. Like I said, the years on these are 2013. And I actually picked these up at an MOS sale, which is for the employees, pretty much the marked out of stock products go into a big pile. They're wrung out of the system, so they're no longer counted as merchandise. But then before they go in the trash, the employees are able to save them by stuffing bags. And then each bag is worth $5. And then it's kind of like their last chance at survival. So um, I believe what happened here is a customer returned these because I started working in 2015 in the summer. So it was one of those things where a customer had bought the soap two years ago or maybe Maybe it was gifted to them and they returned it so we couldn't resell it. So into the MOS pile it went. This says it's from the Italian collection. It's an antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap. They no longer make their hand soaps antibacterial now and they're a little more rounded than like a diamond shape but kind of like that. Um, nowadays they are a little more chiseled looking and these are a little more softer um, in the packaging. But we've got the Bath & Body Works, the newest logo embossed on there, the one that is still in effect today. And then on the back it says, gentle foaming hand soap is enriched with an exclusive blend of moisturizing honey, coconut milk, and olive fruit extracts to help nourish and soften skin. It's further enhanced with mango fruit extract, leaving hands slightly scented, gently cleansed, and conditioned while effectively fighting germs. And something that's on this is because this is an antibacterial, it actually has um, the drug facts on the back, unlike hand soaps do today, since they are just literally soap. So that's kind of funny. This cost $5.50, so there you have it. And then the second one I have is actually from the Winter Collection of 2013. And this one is also an antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap in the fragrance Winter Cranberry. Very pretty and very festive. It's interesting because even though this is from a different collection and a different fragrance, um, it still has those same ingredients listed on the back as the Italian lavender one. And that is the mango fruit extract, the coconut milk, the honey. They just kind of had their formula that that's what they were using at the time. So once again, $5.50 and then it's got the drug facts on the back. So the year is now 2014 and the next thing I'm gonna show you is some body care travel sizes. In 2014, I kind of ended my accidental Bath & Body Works strike. Uh, if you remember from my last video, I mentioned that we were kind of going through Avon products and using up what we had. And I was just a busy person and Bath & Body Works wasn't really on the radar. So since I wasn't really doing a whole lot of shopping at Bath & Body Works, I just don't really have much to show for it. So this was kind of the, the thing that broke the spell. I think I went to a semi-annual sale and picked these up. This is in the fragrance Fresh Brazil Citrus. So I have it in the Fine Fragrance Mist and the Body Lotion. The Mist was $6 and the lotion was $5. So apparently this says that Fresh Brazil Citrus is a light invigorating scent that embraces you in a brew of tangy citrus to stir your senses with its rejuvenating floral undertones. The cocktail of sweet pineapple, luscious mango nectar, and pungent pomelo dominates the fragrance. This was during the time at Bath & Body Works that they didn't just list notes, they like pretty much made a whole paragraph of a story just to describe the notes too, which I kind of miss it when they used to do that because a lot of them really used to kind of set the scene so you could really understand what you were smelling more than just like listing like two or three things. And once again, there's that same one in the fine fragrance mist close up. This next one I remember also picking up at an MOS sale and that is Cashmere Glow. I think someone had returned this and I saved it from the dumpster. So here is a close up look of that one. This fragrance is not 
particularly rare. I think it's even available online right now as an online exclusive uh, retired fragrance. Of course, the packaging won't look this way on the newer versions. This is quite an old version of the packaging. Cashmere Glow has top notes of apricot, guava, wild berries, and bergamot. The middle notes are jasmine, mimosa, peony, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are vanilla, brown sugar, milk, and cashmere musk and sandalwood. So very uh, well blended and balanced fragrance. I find that it's kind of like a soft, creamy floral, but a little bit edging towards the gourmand side. <sighs> okay, here we go back into the lip gloss mode. So in my last video from 2004 to 2010, I had quite a bit of lip glosses to share with you. Um, we're back at it with the lip glosses again. For some reason, my mom and I went kind of through a lip gloss craze. We mainly did the CO Biglow ones, but we also did the Liplicious line, which was the line that Bath & Body Works kind of made of their own. I'll show you the least exciting one first. I have this Mentha Lip Tint from 2015. Um, this is not exciting because they still sell this exact same product today. You can buy it both on the CO Biglow website and in stores. This one specifically is the Magenta Mint. They used to make such fun lip glosses. So I have three here that were from, I believe, kind of summertime. They were all inspired by different fruits. They they had made a lot of different flavors, but these are just the ones that I happen to have still. So we've got watermelon, mango, and then I think this is wild berry. Oh, sorry. They have fancy names. I got to give you the fancy names. It's not watermelon. It's watermelon sorbet. It's not mango. It's mango tango. And then it's not wild berry. It's berry bellini. So close up. Each one was kind of a different tint. This one was the darkest. This one's more of a pink and this one's kind of more of an orange, but these smell and tasted so good. Oh my goodness, the watermelon smells really good. It's got that artificial watermelon Jolly Rancher vibe going on with it. Mango smells very similar to the lip glosses that they make today when they make like the more tropical, like the passion fruit. And I think they even had a mango one last summer too. Pretty much the same scent or flavor as the ones they make now. And then Berry Bellini. Ooh, Berry Bellini smells a lot like... I don't know if I'll be able to find it. If I can, I'll put a picture up over here, but it was like a rollerball from the 90s, and I think it was like called Kiss or something like that. It was like this really glossy rollerball of a lip product, and that's exactly what this uh, liplicious Berry Bellini one smells like. I wonder if anyone will remember <laughs> what I'm talking about. As you're probably noticing even right now, Bath & Body Works has a very short summer because fall starts for them right in the middle of July. It starts right after semi-annual sale and the summer ends. So I just showed you some of the lip glosses and products from summer, but then very soon after I got myself some fall products. I've got these three lip glosses and I think they did such a great job with the packaging for 2014 in the fall. Look at how cute. So their theme was kind of like cable knit sweaters. And of course we've got the introduction to one of the fragrances that everyone knows and loves for fall, and that is Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte. Um, back then it was called Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow, and then they kind of listed it as a little uh, word underneath. This one was Comfort. And then we've got our very familiar Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And that looks like this. Honey Crisp Apple and Buttered Rum for our apple one. They had even released body care that matched all of these, so super cute, I miss that. Speaking of body care, we've got 2014 version of Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow Comfort. Same fragrance as Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It was kind of its early years, like I mentioned. To refresh your memory, this one has Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallow, Creamy Sandalwood, and Praline Musk. And then the year following that, this is from 2015. I have it in the body lotion here. Also very beautiful packaging. Now we are in Christmas of 2014, and I've got Jingle Bellinis. If I remember correctly, I actually got this at a semi-annual sale Christmas time as well. This was right before I started working there. Jingle Bellini, this shimmer mist will leave your skin sparkling with irresistible glamour and lightly fragrance with our exclusive Jingle Bellini, a festive cocktail of peach champagne, apricot nectar, and powdered sugar. That's really hard to read because the text is white. I just smelled this on my arm and it's actually giving off Melon Mania vibes. If you remember from my Art Stuff collection, um, the Melon Mania, it actually smelled a lot like this. So that's kind of weird. I never really noticed that. It is a little more citrusy peachy than the Melon Mania, but very similar. I have more where this is coming from, but that same Christmas in 2014, this is probably the oldest sanitizer that I have in my collection. 
So this is the iced gingerbread fragrance and look how cute. It's got a little mouse holding a gingerbread man on it. And look at the shape of the hand sanitizer bottle. They used to have more of a rectangular bottle for the hand sanitizers, but not too long ago, they had repackaged them to look more rounded like this one here. This is just one that I picked up from spring of this year, but see now they've got the rounded bottle. So the iced gingerbread apparently was a part of their holiday traditions. A powerful germ killing formula enriched with Tahitian palm milk. Leaves hands feeling clean and virtually germ-free. Of their gingerbread fragrances that I've smelled, this one, the iced gingerbread, is the most accurate to actual gingerbread. I know they've had gingerbread latte, amazing, because it's nice and rich from that coffee note. Um, and then they had the spiced gingerbread swirl. This one is very um, cinnamony and nutmeggy, like very heavy on the spices. It's a little more zesty, but this one is like the most accurate to like a baked gingerbread scent. Also back in the day, these hand sanitizers were a dollar and 75 cents. I would always get them in bundles of five because now they're like five for eight dollars, but back then they used to be five for five dollars. So I remember being kind of an older teenager and always running in to go do the five for five. So when I was in college, I was a music major for anyone who doesn't know that, but when I was in college, um, I was a part of an ensemble that was called Dancers, Drummers, and Dreamers. It was pretty much a collaboration ensemble between the music department and the dance department on campus. A lot of students would arrange their own music and then the dancers would choreograph their own dances and then they'd kind of put them together. If anyone knows about the music group Stomp, it was pretty much like that where um, it was like the concept of taking everyday items around the household and kind of making beats out of them and turning them into music. <laughs> This is like a really abridged version, but either way, so we had actually gone on tour during the summer and we would teach kids how to kind of perform or how to do um, music related kind of concepts and stuff like that. And it was really fun, but we had stayed in hotels during that time. And so when I was at the hotel, I actually was already obsessed with Bath and Body Works at this point, but I stole, okay, I didn't steal it. It was provided for us, but I took the liberty to take myself some rain kissed leaves. <laughs> So this is a fragrance that has not been around for a while at Bath and Body Works, but um, the way that they distribute to hotels, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know if these are just really old and the hotel is just still using them or if they just exclusively still make this for hotels. But either way, I have it in a shampoo, body lotion, and conditioner. I feel like I might have a shower gel floating around somewhere too. So the notes are green notes, grass, and water notes, grapefruit, lily of the valley, jasmine, and peony, and then some woodsy musk. The Rain Kissed Leaves is actually an extremely similar fragrance to the Aloe and Green Clover fragrance that I had showed you in my 2005 video. So kind of interesting. I feel like this one did a lot better and was more popular than that Clover one though at the time. Also snagged from the hotel is this cute little bar soap. Um, this one is in the fragrance Coconut Lime Verbena, which I had showed you some also in my 2005. This was quite a popular scent from Bath & Body Works, kind of in the mid 2000s. And this is a moisture rich cleansing bar. It still has the Bath & Body Works kind of graved into the bar soap. I don't know, it's pretty cute. It smells good, but it mainly just smells like bar soap too. So this is the oldest hand soap I have of when they revamped to the new packaging. This is in 2015. I assume it's spring, but I'm not exactly sure. This is a classic fragrance, Eucalyptus Mint. Um, and this is in the old formula when they did the deep cleansing hand soaps. They don't really do that anymore. Now it's just gentle gel and foaming usually. This says deep cleansing hand soap. Like a 60 second manicure, our deep cleansing hand soap is specially formulated with skin renewing microspheres to effectively cleanse and exfoliate while conditioning aloe and protect Protective vitamin E leave hands feeling soft and smooth. Back then they used to have the fragrance name in the notes on the sides. A refreshing scent of fresh mint, crisp eucalyptus, and sweet clary sage. Hand sanitizers from 2015. So I've got four of them left here. So let's go through these. I've got spring poppies and picnics. Smells kind of like strawberry shampoo a little bit. Sunshine and lemons, which is a fragrance that you can still get today. Southern lemon chiffon, which I gotta smell this one. Mmm, yum. It's like that classic lemon paired with a vanilla note um, to make it a little more desserty. So it's citrusy, but it's also sweet and creamy like a dessert. And then we've got coconut cooler. This one you can see I was actually working on it. It's about halfway done. Yeah, it has kind of like a guava-y note, but it's essentially like a pina colada kind of smell. 
And then back then when I was using the hand sanitizers, I didn't really have many holders for them, but I had actually picked these two up kind of towards the end when they had discontinued that shape of hand sanitizer and rebranded and repackaged. Um, and so I've got these at MOS when they were done with that shape, but I've got like this pink glittery one like this. And then I've got this one that's got hearts. I assume it was maybe from a Valentine's day or a spring collection. They were a lot easier to get the hand sanitizers into the things. Unlike nowadays, they're really difficult. Part of the reason they're difficult now is because they don't want the sanitizer to fall out. You know, I feel like ever since they made the rounded ones, um, they would just kind of slide out, but yeah, so that's how those kind of went in there. I think we went a little overboard with the lip gloss because I have more from the summer. So this one um, was from the same time that I had gotten my very first bottle of Waikiki Beach Coconut. Um, in the collection, they also had Maui Mango Surf. Um, and this one smells, to me, at least identical to the Liplicious Mango Tango from 2014. I feel like these are exactly the same. This one's more of like a frosty white glitter kind of. It's supposed to be clear, but it kind of comes off as frosty white. So that's, I guess, the only difference between them. But like scent and flavor wise, I think they're the same. So this was exciting from CO Bigelow. Um, we had actually gotten the lemon cream. They had, I think they had a third one, but I don't remember what it was. So they had the plain lemon lip cream and then they had the lemon pomegranate lip cream. So this says 100% natural lemon and pomegranate. The lemon pomegranate's actually my mom's. It just smells like a little more fruity and like berries almost um, in the lemon pomegranate one while this one is just straight up lemon. But I love the texture and the taste of these. This is the summer that I started working there. You'll start to notice that the collection gets a little more extensive. Um, of course, I did a lot of shopping besides working at this time. This is just the remaining of what I had from that year. Um, of course, I had bought a lot more and used up a lot more at this time because this is kind of when things started to escalate into an obsession. This is kind of the beginnings of when Bath and Body Works took over my life. So here we go. We've got Waikiki Beach Coconut and everyone probably knows what this smells like by now because this does come back every summer but here is some old packaging this is a travel size fine fragrance mist from 2015 and this was kind of the fragrance that I claimed as my first signature body care fragrance that was like a Melissa fragrance. Just to jog your memory, this is mainly a coconut fragrance but it's got notes of coconut, passion flower, frangipani, um, sandalwood and driftwood and bamboo as well. Here I have some old bottles of white citrus, which it's not been too long ago since they had this in stores, um, but then they ended up retiring and then it was available online on the retired uh, website. As you can see, this is the shower gel and then this is actually a hand cream, not a body cream. So this was before they repackaged the hand creams to be those little one ounce smaller tubes. So this was actually a $5 tube of hand cream and it was two ounces. So pretty much a fraction of the price for double the product. So um, hand creams today are a little bit on the not that good of a deal side. It helps that they do like the free item coupons and that's usually how I get my hand creams now, but they were definitely a better deal back then. Either way, this says nourishing hand cream with moisturizing shea butter and vitamin E. This luxurious hand cream absorbs quickly to leave hands feeling soft, smooth, and nourished. Use after washing your hands or anytime your hands need moisture. And then the notes on these guys are lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, orange on the top. The middle notes are ginger, freesia, lily of the valley, apricot, and rose water. And then the base notes are musk and woodsies. Woodsies? <laughs> and woods. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <sighs> okay, so 2015 was when the body care started to get out of hand in my collection. And we've got some leftover of iced pear margaritas. I know that this was actually in my use it up cart. Now I kind of feel bad for using it up. So back in the spring of 2015, I remember they had kind of like this Cinco de Mayo kind of theme. They had like a hibiscus one and then they had a papaya agave nectar kind of one. Um, and then they had, of course, this iced pear margarita. Electric colors, exotic flavors, margaritas at noon. From Kabu to to Cancun, experience a fragrance fiesta. And then the notes are fiesta pear, baja limon, mango flower, Mayan sugarcane, and Mexican sandalwood. So uh, very fun fragrance notes on this. I find that this is heavier on the margarita and the citrusy notes than it is the pear on my skin. Uh, my fragrance mist is almost used up, but that's what this one looks like. I do know that this had made a reprise during a semi-annual sale 
not that long ago. I want to say it was three semi-annual sales ago, but um, it's starting to all blur together. <laughs> kind of in the late summer and early fall, they had had um, props of these ladders in the stores. And I remember like the ladder was like this and they'd put the products on it. So they were doing kind of like an orchard vineyard collection for a late summer, early fall. Um, kind of before they get into the fall traditions, they would do some kind of in-between fragrance collection and they even do that now too. So the one that we had purchased from this collection was Vineyard Champagne Kiss and this was actually uh, my mom's fragrance that she chose. So really pretty packaging. Um, I love the fragrance of this. Flirty and soft with a hint of fruit. Vineyard Champagne Kiss is a blend of blushing berries, jasmine flower, and a sparkle of pink champagne. We also have it in a body lotion and the body lotion is like a 360 it's pretty cool that it's got like a 360 wrap around it. On the back it says the same thing, same fragrance notes. And then here is the fine fragrance mist. This is so much better than champagne toast. It's a lot more sweet and girly. It's not tart at all. Like champagne toast really is kind of um, sour and tart, but this one is very sweet and girly. So I love it. Oh, and then I also have it in this cute little travel size. Uh, body lotion. What we would do is my mom, my sister, and I would go in all together and we'd each kind of choose what fragrance was going to be like our signature fragrance for the season. And we would get the whole trio of it in the shower gel, the spray, and then a type of moisturizer, either a lotion or a cream. And then we would have all these coupon pamphlets because we had started getting those coupon booklets. And so we would get a whole bunch of them and then um, we would also get like the free item coupon. And so then we would get a little size of whatever fragrance we chose to be our main fragrance. And then that would be the one that goes in our purse to carry around. So um, that's kind of what happened there. And then later that season, we get into the fall traditions, the stuff that you think of as classically fall. Between my mom, my sister, and myself, I had chosen Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and have stuck with it since. I've used up all of those bottles of the full sizes, so I have nothing to show there. But the fragrance from that year that my mom chose was one that I wish they would bring back. It's Plum Cider Warmth. Look at how amazing the packaging is. I love it so much. It's so autumnal. It's perfect for October. It almost has a little bit of a spooky Halloween vibe because it's got the purple and like those rich colors. Um, the fragrance is amazing. It's so good. So. This says, there's a chill in the air and the leaves are a kaleidoscope of brilliant colors. Autumn is here. Let's pick apples in the orchard and visit a farm to hunt for the perfect pumpkin. Grab a sweater, we're taking the scenic route. So I just love how they used to like, I already mentioned this, but they used to like set the scene so well in just their little descriptions on the back. The notes are Mirabelle plum, apple cider, golden rum, cashmere vanilla, and sugared musk. It smells like a more vanilla-y, richer, version of like spiced cider. It's so delicious. Here is that same fragrance in the shower gel and in the fragrance mist. And it's really pretty because for the fragrance mist, they would have like the solid colors. They each would have a different colored lid and then um, the fragrance itself was what was colored. So you can see it's clear now here. It would have like these lacy leaf patterns on the bottom third of each bottle and each bottle was slightly different. So there's that one. I don't know if we just had a free item coupon and we got this randomly, but we got Suncrisp Apple Harvest from that same collection and Got the pretty leaves. The top notes are apple, lemon, and red currant. The middle notes are leaves, apple blossom, water lily, and clove. And then the base notes are jasmine, woods, amber, musk, and vanilla. I view this as like a more spicy and festive version of country apple. And then the fragrance that my sister chose for herself was Perfect Autumn Day. And this one was the green one. It had the green liquid inside and there's those leaves on the bottom. So festive. It makes me wish it were fall right now. It has like slight brown sugar notes, but then it's also more of like a masculine, crisp, fresh, outdoorsy kind of fragrance. So the notes are Williams pear, candied ginger, apple, and maple leaf on the top. The middle notes are aracord, fig leaf, magnolia, and raspberry blossom. And then the base notes are maple syrup, amber wood, moss, and sandalwood. Very unique. Slight sweater weather vibes, but a little more brown sugary, I guess. Okay, the last season of 2015, of course, is winter. So I was mainly a floor set girl at this point and I would help like kind of do backroom stocking and like kind of just like the little jobs here and there. So I didn't work very often, but I do remember working Black Friday in 2015. So we had the gray totes where you spend 30, you can buy the tote for $30 and it had like $100 worth of goodies inside. Those goodies inside were the fragrance that they had launched that Christmas be Joyful. I have some Be Joyful left in my collection. I have it still 
in a shower gel, and then I still have it in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I'd actually just used up the body lotion uh, last Christmas. There's just a tiny tail end of it left. The notes on this one, sparkling clementine, golden mango, frosted jasmine, winter melon, and shimmering sugar. And it says, let your heart be light with our most joyful fragrance ever. The best way I can describe this fragrance is if you combined Thousand Wishes with Gingham, you would get be joyful. And then last but not least for today, um, of course I have, <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed. I have more lip gloss. <laughs> Once again, this was a situation where we got three of them because one was for my mom, one was for me, and then one was for my sister. I don't know why I have my sisters. I mean, I'm still with my mom right now, so I just went upstairs and grabbed her stuff from her. No clue why I have my sisters, but it works for this video. So my sister, she got Vanilla Be Noel, and it's in this gold tube. It doesn't say anything cool on the back, but... Yeah, it smells like classic Vanilla Bean Noel, and it is clear with a shimmer in it. My mom got Winter Candy Apple, and she won the prize. She's the one that's used hers up the most. Um, so here's the Winter Candy Apple. Mmm, it almost smells more like caramel apples in the lip gloss than Winter Candy Apple as in the body care fragrance. Um, also clear with just a little glitter in it. And then mine was Twisted Peppermint. Pink, it's got the candy on it. Woo. Just like those C.O. Bigelow Mentha ones, that will also freshen your breath. It's very pepperminty and zesty. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long and going through all of these products with me. Um, there is going to be a fourth installment to this series, and that's the one I'm going to be working on next. I'm going to show you some of the materials that the employees would use from the years 2013 to kind of 2017 time. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and I will see you next time. Bye.